I mean, who among us hasn't Googled oneself at one time? <laughs> Are you, do you have European roots? You yeah, look, yeah. Well, from where? Mom's uh, Dutch and my dad's English. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you look Dutch, actually. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable there. Yeah. I know we have to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but get yeah, it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> get it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just talking to Brooklyn and Finn, and Brooklyn was talking about how when you were like, going a little crazy how she was a little scared so uh -huh. how so how was that for you trying to like work with like this girl and then being scary and then is that well oh god I worry about the sort of <laughs> unintended impacts of being in a horror movie at seven um uh I mean for me I wasn't I was fine <laughs> but um I had such a lovely relationship with Brooklyn when we weren't in the heightened moments, um, or basically when the camera wasn't rolling, we had a, a, a nice sort of den clubhouse in the house that we would make Valentine's Day cards and have arts and crafts in, and uh, and yeah, she was just a joy to be around. So hopefully the like the nice moments sort of <laughs> buffered the and terrible ones. She knew that it was just acting. So I know, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. So I, they've said that this house is a real house, actually. What mm -hmm. was that house like? Because that looks kind of, now it looks very scary, but was it kind of a little? It was amazing. I mean, I, it just sort of, as it goes in the movie, you're awed by it when you first arrive. I can't believe that. And it was a private house. It still exists. I mean, they rent out most of it and then just live in a quarter because the heating bills would be insane. But um, it's it's a, it's a house that people live in and this enormous manor on this enormous estate, like old aristocracy. Um, but then the longer you spend in it, it just, it chills you. Did you sleep over there? I didn't. Nobody would let me. I wanted to. Oh, you did? Yeah. So do you like kind of supernatural? Or do you believe in supernatural things? I do. I haven't had any notable experiences, but I'm very open if any ghosts <laughs> want to contact me. <laughs> Put it out there. Yeah, just like if you want to touch me, you do. <laughs> but be, being in a scary movie, when you have to act so scared all the time, do you kind of get a little scared from your own fear? I, I don't know. I don't know if scared, but you get like hyped up. You're just sort of producing so much adrenaline all the time that I'm not like jumpy, but you're like, what's next? <laughs> like you're just really sort of on edge. What, when you watched, because you watched the movie, right? Mm -hmm. What was that like watching your? I thought it was that? really scary. I mean, it's um, to be clear, excruciating to watch. There's so much of me in it. It's so hard to watch for so long. But the the scares in the movie really. Um, they, they moved me, They're, they really freaked me out. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you a fan of horror movies yourself? You I imagine? love horror movies, yeah. Do you like being scared? I love being scared. Why? I don't, I don't. I like the adrenaline. It's so like, do you like rides? Do you like uh, roller coasters? No, I hate roller coasters. Oh, I guess just those a, two go together. Yeah, kind of. it's just having someone like, I don't know, push you to the edge. I, I love it. I love just that it's like an instant high to, and then to be scared. And then you're okay and then yeah. And especially with movies, I mean, there's other, horror more than any other genre, I think you have this really intense communal experience of like fear and then laughing when you release and being in the theater and being around people and being like terrified together and then discovering that you're like clenching somebody you don't know because <laughs> you're experiencing this like one moment together. I think that's so special and cool. It feels like magic. And cut. <laughs> hey, good, yeah, was good job, everyone. Can we talk about your arms in Terminator Please. now? <laughs> because I was watching Call them, them. I'm like, <laughs> yes, I'm like, I want arms like, how do you get arms like that? You work out all the time and you eat so much meat and then no carbs and you can't drink or have any sugar and really any sort of a social life, but you can exercise and eat nothing but meat. How long did that take you to, to, to get that um, physique? The re I, I do have naturally quite muscular arms, so that was the shortest thing, but the rest of it, it was like three months of very intense training and dieting, and then that continued for six months when we, once we started the movie. So we had like a three-month runway, and then six months of still exercising six days a week and eating meat. Is that a good part of, of the job, having to like change your body? Or is it like, oh no, you read the script, and you're like, oh God. No, I, I was so excited. I've never had anything that asked me to do that before, so I was so excited to do it. It's also like, the height of luxury to have somebody like force you to eat well and train you all the time and have people really invested in like transforming your body. I couldn't do it without that sort of a, an infrastructure. Um, but it's hard. It's a it's a second job on top of the job that you're doing. It's I slept like four five hours a night maybe 
four hours for like six months because you're just always working out. Oh my god! And and then filming. So does that kind of in, interfere with your mood because you're hungry and yeah. a little like yeah <laughs> yeah. I remember one day we were shooting the scene where I had to run and I'm just so lanky and like I just don't have an efficient body. But I was I'm a soldier, so I had to run well, and I I had been on a sort of deprivation part of the diet so because I had to do with this like nude fight scene in a few days so they start cutting out a lot of the food that you're gonna eat okay. um, and I had to like run down this hallway and then I saw playback of it and I'm like <laughs> like just <laughs> looks so stupid and I just cried for an hour afterwards because you don't have any like calories to support um, a normal emotional reaction you're just really um, sad <laughs> that sounds horrible, really horrible yeah but so, it was fun <laughs> so what was the first thing you did when you finished that shoot i finished that the very end of the shoot and i there was a pizza place on my way home in budapest and i got three like personal not personal size but pies for me to eat um <laughs> from this pizza place and went home with a bottle of wine and uh and then ate them all of them yeah Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. <laughs> I have a really big appetite. It was quite difficult for me. So another part of this job is going on the red carpet mm -hmm. and dressing up. Is that something that you enjoy? I I love the dressing up part. I hate having my photograph taken and trying to find like a point of meeting between those two things is really difficult. But I, um, yeah, I, I've recently started to really like the the dressing up part. The, the photography still I'm struggling with, but I imagine... 10 more years and that'll really settle in. It looks really scary when yeah. everyone's screaming and you have to like go in different yeah. poses yeah. and everything. And you're like, like is this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then you watch it afterwards. And you're like, no, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so I was also looking at your social media, mm -hmm. but there's a few accounts with you and I was like, did you just stop doing Instagram or? Are you I don't have social media, but there is a, a Mackenzie Davis Instagram that people think is mine. Yeah. That is just pictures of my face and I love that people look me up and then think that all I do is post like professional shots of myself. I thought so too. Yeah. And then that that account is following another account with yeah. you, and I was like, oh, but maybe that's her. So yeah. you're not at all. No, no, not at all. When? But spread the word yeah. that, that I have like <laughs> just a professional photograph account. What? Why are you not on social media? Uh, I don't, I'm too sensitive. I can't like I I would overthink everything and then be like, why did you do that? I just don't want to. It's just a health thing for me. So you don't Google yourself either? I mean, who among us hasn't Googled oneself at one time? But I try and put a limit on all that stuff. And now I saw that you're going to be in a movie with Kristen Stewart. Mm -hmm. Is that confirmed? Are you shooting? Yeah, we're sh I just came from there today. Um, oh. Yeah, we're shooting in Pittsburgh. Cool. Yeah. What's that experience like? It's so <laughs> nice. Kristen's just so lovely and funny and smart and engaged. And um, Cleo Duvall, who's directing it, is a, a lovely friend of mine. and. I'm just, it couldn't be a nicer place to be right now with this great group of women and just laughing every day. Can't wait for that to yeah, come out. Yeah, I think too. it's going to be really good. I love it. Great. Thank you so much. You're so lovely. Oh, you <laughs> Thank too. You. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.